Now, you clicked on this video on April 1st, and you're about to blame me. What are we doing? Some almond breeze milk, putting in my bowl of cereal. We're about to have some cinnamon toast crunch. So for this video, we are going to talk about the top five cereals of all time. Wait, let me let me eat a little bit of this cinnamon toast crunch. Mm. This is the bomb.com. All right. So, oh, why do we have a switch on in the background? Let me at number five. French Toast Crunch. This cereal is good. But for some reason, it, it isn't as widespread in some grocery stores. Sometimes I can't find it on the shelf. But as a kid, man, I used to love me some French Toast Crunch. That's a number five best tasting cereal of all time. Coming in at number four, we just had French Toast Crunch. I gotta show some love to what I'm eating right now. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. My kids love this stuff. I like this stuff. It's just so good, man. The Thin Flakes. The right amount of cinnamon. Delicious. Let me take one more spoon. Then we'll go to number three. Hold on. It's good. Mm. And this makes the best cereal soup. Yeah, see, y'all ain't cereal connoisseurs like me. After you've eaten all the cereal, the sugar, and the cinnamon, it sits in the milk. That cereal soup. All right. All right, number four. Coming in at number three. The number three best tasting cereal of all time. They're magically delicious. The oh, Lucky Charms, so good. I don't like really getting to my kids. They pick out all the marshmallows, just eat the marshmallows. There is a, a science to eating Lucky Charms. You gotta have in each scoop the right amount of oats and marshmallow ratio. Every time you pick up a scoop, you need to have at least two marshmallows in your spoon. Two marshmallows to about five or six oats. That's the perfect ratio. So you could really enjoy Lucky Charms. So the next time you're eating Lucky Charms, count your spoon, bro. You'll thank me later. All right. That's number three. Coming to the top two. The top two. At number two. They're great. Oh, man. Frosted Flakes. Hey. When I say... Oh, no. I got nothing but cereal soup left. Oh, my goodness. Delicious. Frosted Flakes has me to think about an honorable mention. Just regular Kellogg's Corn Flakes with the Green Rooster. Those are actually good. They're a little bland, plain, but the crisp, when you get those fresh, they're good. And the reason why I say Frosted Flakes, because I used to add sugar to that. But, but Frosted Flakes, it solves all your dilemma. Bro, you talking about a cereal? That tastes delicious. The corn crispy cornflakes and the sugar mixed with it. Oh my goodness, it's really not even breakfast. It's like I feel like I'm eating candy with milk. <laughs> it's so delicious. Now, with frosted flakes though, 
you got to eat it while it's fresh. Like after you open it, you got to put it in like a Ziploc bag, make sure it's, it's so it stays fresh. Fresh, because once the flakes start to get a little bit stale, it just ruins everything, man. It has to be crispy and nice frosted flakes at number two. Before I say number one, what do you think is going to be the number one? Type it in the chat right now. But the number one goaded cereal of all time. Oh my goodness. Captain Crunch. <laughs> man, so much I can say about this cereal. It's just so unique. What are these? Butter flakes? Sugar flakes? On the box, it says sweetened corn and oats cereal. Doesn't look like corn. Doesn't look like oats. Doesn't taste like either one. But it's delicious. The best tasting cereal of all time is Captain Crunch, bro. What is he a captain of? The crunches? It's just delicious. All right. <laughs> Hey, hope y'all enjoy April 1st. What do you guys think about the top five cereals of all time? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, boy. This channel that I'm about to throw out there for you guys reminds me of me back when I had like 4,000, 5,000 subscribers, man. And um, he's probably gonna lose shit when I do this, but hey, man, I gotta say, my boy OB1, my boy OB1, man, that nigga is my nigga right there. He reminds me exactly of me when I was doing this shit on a smaller level. His channel, when I look at it, it's such a nostalgia trip. And he has a really cool audience too, man. And if you could show this nigga some love too, that'd be awesome. I don't shout people out unless I like them. A lot, a lot. I'm picky with that. But, um, anyways, my boy Obi One, your boy Obi One. Hey, man, I got you right here, my boy. Give that man a little bit of a look, man. He reminds me of me when I was smaller. You want to take a look in the past, my boy? This is the way you do it. I got you, Jedi homie. Master, the right Jedi Master. master. <laughs> we I got you, man. Obi -Wan. You're playing two towns. Thank you. I got Obi -Wan, you, man. homie. I'm dedicating a workout set. To you, my boy. Let's go, man. <laughs> 27, 28. Ah, he said hating on the air.